Emma Raducanu was dumped out of Indian Wells by Alexandra Sasnovich on Saturday morning. The Brit was unable to repeat her US Open exploits, losing 2-6, 4-6 in the round of 64 at the competition. And she must now learn from Andy Murray when it comes to hiring her next coach. Radicanu split with her coach, Andrew Richardson, in the wake of her sensational U.S. Open triumph. And, in her first match back on the tour, the Brit was outplayed by her Belarusian opponent. There's no need to panic, that has to be stressed. Radicanu is already a Grand Slam winner at 18 years old. There's no point over analyzing just one defeat. But it was worrying that she lost without a coach in her corner. Now, that's a decision the Brit has to get right. She split with Richardson because she wants somebody to take her up a level. She explained her decision by saying, where I was at after Wimbledon, I was ranked around 200 in the world and at the time I thought Andrew would be a great coach to trial. So we went to the States but never did I even dream of winning the US Open and having the run I did and now I'm ranked 22 in the world, which is pretty crazy to me. I feel like at this stage in my career, and playing the top players in the world, I realized I really need someone right now that has had that WTA Tour experience at the high levels, which means that I'm looking for someone who has been at that level and knows what it takes. And especially right now because I'm so new to it, I really need someone to guide me who's already been through that. But Radicanu must learn from Murray that parting ways isn't always for the best. Murray was operating at the peak of his powers under Ivan Lendl, who coached him between 2011 and 2014. Lendl helped the 34-year-old win a first Grand Slam at the U.S. Open back in 2012, where he beat Novak Djokovic in the final. He also mentored Murray as the Brit claimed the Olympic gold medal that year, where he rocked Roger Federer months after losing to the Swiss at Wimbledon. And Lendl also helped Murray win Wimbledon in 2013, too. However, while Murray won Wimbledon again in 2016 as well as Olympic gold again after reuniting with Lendl, he's never been the same since their split the following year. Injuries have, of course, taken a toll. But it speaks volumes that Murray has never been able to compete with the world's best since the days where he had Lendl by his side. Sticking, rather than twisting, can sometimes be the way to go. And Radicanu must now ensure she gets her next coach right, because more chopping and changing could risk stunting her growth. Meanwhile, former British star John Lloyd recently claimed that the teenager had made a staggering decision in parting ways with Richardson. I find it hard to believe Emma made that decision, he said.
look at the celebrations Emma had with Richardson and the team after she won the U.S. Open. She described it as the most joyous moment of her career. Three weeks later, that relationship was over. It's a staggering decision. I hope Richardson was sitting down when he received the phone call. If I was him, my question would have been, what else could I have done? Yes, it was a temporary arrangement but you have just been dumped after the biggest upset in tennis history. It's mind-boggling. You won a Grand Slam with this team. Why change that? Why not give it a few months? 